Welcome back. All of us have felt physical pain at some stage, be it a migraine, a cut, a sore joint, something of that nature. However, one in five Australians, Joe, suffer from chronic pain that can last for years and affect every aspect of their lives. Here to tell us more, welcome clinical nurse consultant from Chronic Pain Australia, Fiona Hodson. Welcome to the House of Wellness. Thank you for having me. Fiona, we all know about pain and what it feels like, but what is chronic pain? So chronic pain is pain that usually uh, is from a, an injury or um, an illness or surgery. And the normal healing time that you would think that it would um, heal, uh, it prolongs after three months. So it goes on and on and can actually go on for years, five, 20 years even mm -hmm. for some people. And I do think some people just live permanently with pain. What kind of toll does that take day to day? The toll, it takes an immense toll, it takes a personal toll, an uh, emotional toll, um, it takes a huge toll on the family as well. Um, a lot of these people um, are disabled with their pain so they can't work, mm. so financially there's a huge toll that that takes as well. And also the out-of-pocket expenses that these people have to endure as well with all of their specialist appointments or they're going to other allied health professionals and so forth. So, Fiona, you've been conducting the National Pain Week survey. Are you learning any new information out of that? Uh, yes, we have. And one of the interesting things, or it's disappointing in one way, but uh, uh, is that people feel very stigmatised. Mm. Those that have chronic pain feel that uh, people, they don't feel believed. Yeah. Or, um, you know, when they've gone to their, say, pharmacist or their doctor, they feel that, uh, that, that, they, that, that the doctor or the pharmacist doesn't believe that they have pain because a lot of people with chronic pain don't look like they're in pain. Yeah, because so much of it has to come down to compassion and really being able to empathise with someone who's in pain. And that requires me to really make an effort to understand yeah. you. It does. Yeah. It does. And perhaps not everybody can. No, and I think empathy was that was lacking. That was one of the things that came clearly out in the survey, that people didn't feel that there was that empathy for them, that people understood. Uh, I know as a clinician, as a nurse, uh, I got involved in this organisation because it is the grassroots, you know, the voice of people experiencing pain. Mm. And it's that lived experience. And I think understanding that makes me a much better clinician. Wow. So, and I think if other people in the community were aware of that, then maybe that could help as well. What about people who are living with someone who's got chronic pain and that's in their house, it's in their relationships, it's in their families, what can they do to support their loved one? Uh, as I, I think getting a better understanding and supporting that person and uh, one of the things that we also try and encourage people to do is have this open communication with the person who's experiencing pain so that you also know, look, I'm having a bad day today yeah. Could you help me with this or could you help me with that? Uh, the problem is, is because it goes on for such a long period of time, is that they, people get a bit jaded. Yeah. <laughs> Even family members who love the person dearly. Uh, so there is, uh, there is various resources online, which isn't for everybody, but those are available. Um, some really good uh, pain management resources there. There is also access to some really good public hospital pain management services. What we would like to see is, is, the, is more um, people being supported in their own communities. So that means upskilling allied health professionals, and when I mean that, I mean physios, psychologists, nurses, and GPs, so that they can actually manage those people much better in their own communities. Fiona, thanks for coming in today. It's an important conversation to have and uh, offering some advice to people who are suffering chronic pain. We really appreciate it. Great. Thanks for having me.